Yo, what's good, YouTube? Tonks and Storm here, and welcome to another session of Road to Top 500 in Pokemon UU Battles. So it's been a while since we did a UU battle or, or anything to do with Showdown, so I thought, you know what, it's time to bring it back. And for the past, since last time, you know, there's been some changes in Pokemon uh, Showdown, or the tiers at least, because uh, Alakazam is in BL now, which means I cannot use it. You see? So I thought I need a replacement because, you know, I need someone as strong or of similar strength to Alakazam. And the only one I can think of was an Espeon. And uh, I'm choosing to use Espeon over uh, any other poison, uh, psychic type because it is the closest one to an Alakazam because it has base 130, whereas um, Alakazam has only, wait, hold up. Alakazam only has um, 135 in special attack, so this is this is the closest thing I can get to an Alakazam. So uh, I think it's looking pretty good. I have to change this hidden power though because I don't want hidden power dark. I'm thinking of changing into like energy ball. No, you don't get energy ball. Um, what are the moves does this thing get? That can benefit me. Uh, I could try using Grass Knot. Can Grass Knot kill? Um, can a Grass Knot kill a Swampert? Espeon. Uh, it's a, it's a modest nature. Uh, Grass Knot. Grass Knot versus a Swampert. A Swampert, Grass Knot kills. All right, so I think Grass Knot would be a good addition to the move pool. So, what about hitting Power Grass? Um, yeah, why not? Let's have grass not there, so there's that. Um, there have been changes to the team. Like, the, this Beedrill uh, replaced our uh, Galvantula. Because I realized there's no real reason to have Galvantula. Um, I mean, Sticky Webs is important and all. Like, it, it was my go-to thing every time I used to play Showdown. But now I uh, have a different mindset now. And I think this team should excel. Um, with the addition of Sylvia on Yu Yu, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I, I had to bring someone who is a poison type to take on Sylveons because Sylveons are pain in the ass. They truly are. Um, and now that I think about it, I need someone that can take on like Umbreons as well. And U-turn. Wait, how much can a U-turn do to an Umbreon? Uh, uh, what is this? A Mega Beedrill? Mega Beedrill. Um, U-turn. That's pretty much the same moves I have. Um, it's a modest. It's an adamant nature, not jolly. Um, what should I put it? Uh, Umbreon. Foul play will kill me. Um, but if I use a U-turn. Which I will, and I will outspeed it without a doubt. It's gonna do about 87%. Um, if it's max defense, let's say it's not gonna do that much, but it's still gonna kill if it's in like half range, so that's something I should look forward to. Um, what about Sylveon? Sylveon. Choice specs, uh, more of a wish passer actually. Sylveon type, from what I've seen, they're wish passers, so. Yeah, this is this is the, the uh, exact thing I see. Every time I face off against a Sylveon. Oh, 
Wow. So max defensive Sylveons get one hit, one shot by Mega Beedrill. That is good to know. And that is a great thing to know because... Oh, actually, I have to find a way to like counter Blissey's. Because even even if I use Blissey, you know, I, it's kind of hard for me to counter Blissey's. Uh, let's see. Um, Blissey, Blissey. I'm pretty sure I can kill it, right? If I use like Knock Off. Or a Poison Jab at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's not that much I can worry about. Um... Why do I have acrobatics on this? What was my reasoning for this? I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not sure. Why do I have acrobatics? For grass types? I mean, I have poison drive for that. Um, because I made this team like a while back. That's why I'm kind of like looking over this team. Uh, acrobatics. Can I change this for something else? Uh, protect? Pursuit? Oh, I can Pursuit Trap people. I can Pursuit Trap. Hmm, interesting. I might use Roost. I mean, I don't think I have the chance to do that because I am pretty fragile as it is. So I don't think I'll find a way to find... I don't think I'll be able to like get off any Roosts. Uh, tailwind? Maybe. Pursuit? Maybe. Um, I mean, I can, just, I, I can just leave it like that. There's no real reason for me to change it. Yeah. I don't see why not. What about if I use return actually? Because this one gets return, right? So, return? <laughs> I don't know if that's a right move to put on it, but. Return. I should do quite a bit as well, right? Hmm. Nah. Oh, I know why. Because if I use knockoff and I, I use acrobatics. It's gonna do a lot. It's gonna double it. So that's why. Oh, okay, that makes sense. My reasoning makes sense. All right, so I think that's about all there is to it. Um, yeah, I think we can just go into our first game of the weeks because it's been a while since I did a UU battle session. So I hope this goes well. Uh, we have one one of these things, the Alamomolas. Fuck. Um, we have Hunch Crow. Metagross, Sinchino, Gudra, Typhlosion. So, I think it's going to be leading off with... The Alamomola or the Metagross? Either one of those two is going to come out, so... I have to make the right prediction. Um, there is one, two, three physical attackers and one, two, three special attackers. Okay. Um, I would like to get my stealth rocks up, so I guess I'll go with the Blissey. There you go. That's a good. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Let me self rocks. Not bad. All right, so this Inchino is probably gonna go for the skill link double slap or some shit. Um, if that's the case, um, I would like to use Arcanine. No, it gets Rock Blast. So going to the Arcanine is not a good choice. I would like. Oh, why would you switch? What was he aiming for? 
Oh, was he predicting me going to the Arcanine? If that's the case, then that was a pretty good prediction because I was about to go into it anyway. I was. Alright. Let me use this. This shit on it. Seismic toss. He's wish, so. Okay. Okay, um. Let's see now. Let me go into the sweet one, I guess. Really? Ice punch. Oh. Wow. Okay. Good thing I snapped out of it. Shit. Um, this thing gets wish, so I need to kill this thing somehow. Alright, that did a good amount. Let me go into the Arcanine then. If I had Wall of Charge on my Arcanine, would it kill this Alamomola? Let me see, Arcanine, Defensive, uh, Wall of Charge. Would it kill an Alamomola at this range? Alamomola, Alamomola. Hmm, well, a charge would do like 31%, so no. Nah, it wouldn't. So, I gotta get the fuck out of here. That toxic damage that was a lot damn oh this thing has rocky helmet i didn't even realize this guy's gotta switch out now because that gudra why i mean unless you have like a physical gudra which could be the case let me is that even possible no way Physical Gudra? There's no way. <laughs> I don't believe this. Like, is there like a site of physical Gudras? There's no way. He has outrage. Oh, it's possible. It's possible. I did not know that. Um, I could be in trouble then. So, <laughs> let me count it. Um. Uh, what's it called? Gudra? Yeah. Gudra. Choice band. Woo! I don't even have defensive. Oh my god, Outrage will kill me. Um, let me go into. Uh, let me go to the Suicune. I have to use, like. Curse. What? I need to scald this thing. I want to scald this thing. But I kind of want to go for the roar. Um, as curse. So. It's a different set. Let me roar. Yeah, I'm not going to be set up right now. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let me go into this gold. Oh, what was that? Hidden power electric? Hidden power grass? 
Who knows? Who knows? But all I know is that I got a crit on that, and I don't know what to feel about that. Um, that being said, um, I could just go into the Arcanine? I hope I don't make the wrong prediction, though. I mean, it does get Rock Blast, so I don't think that's the correct thing to do. I don't know, um... How many is called? Oh shit, it's Bully Seed! Fuck, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot. Shit. Yes, I got the burn. That's what I was waiting for. Fuck. What? As Wait, as Lumberry. Fuck. I did not know that. Shit. Um. All right. Don't use Rock Blast. Don't use Rock Blast. Don't use Rock Blast. Yep. All right. So. Shit. Will Rock Blast kill me? It has Intimidate though. It has the Intimidate drop. Will it? Fuck. I'm gonna go for the Will O Wisp. Come on, Will O Wisp, come through. So, that's telling me it does not have Rock Blast nor Aqua Tail. Which is a good thing because I'm gonna go heal up right now. Mmm. Mmm. What are you doing? I'm gonna go for the Willow. Bruh, did a lot. Chill. I'm gonna burn everything, yo. Come on then. Bring it on, Mo. Oh, he left. <laughs> he left. I mean, I would've left. I'm not gonna lie. I would've left if I had like two of my physical attackers like burned. I would've done the same. So, you know what? I'm gonna claim victory. Because I think he did a rage quit, so. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> I'm liking the way this is going. Um, now, I can change. Is there any ways I can improve on this team? Uh, I'm not sure. This team looks pretty solid. Um, and, oh yeah, I gotta give you like the explanation why I have like the choice scarf and the items on these, on these Pokemon. Um... He's not back, alright, so I'm, I'm gonna have the victory by then. So the reason why I have Choice Scarf is because uh, there are... Um, it, it's for the Mega Beedrills that I would be encountering. And because of that, I've given it the Choice Scarf instead of giving it the Choice Specs. And uh, there are like other Choice Scarfers out there too, like Crocodile and like Hydreigon. So I decided, you know what? I can take them on if I have my choice scarf, so that's one of the reasons why I have the choice scarf on it. And there are other Pokemon out there like Dragalgi that can also cause problems because they are faster than me, so that is why I have this this uh, uh choice scarf set. So yeah, that's that's my W right there. All right, all right, that's looking pretty good. All right, so um, I'm gonna call it quits for now. I think that's that was a pretty good demonstration of this new team. So uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to storm the like button below. And if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to become a proud member of the Storm Revolution. And as always, this has been Toxin Storm. And I'll be catching you guys next time.